on dry land. All done. Tonight we're camping. Do you want to visit our tent, little crab? Oh. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> you sure are lucky. You can camp underwater or in open air. Whatever you choose. <laughs> That's right. And yet his distant ancestors didn't have a choice. Way back then, all living beings on planet Earth only lived in the ocean. So that means that there was nobody to camp out on the beach with me? Absolutely nobody. Isn't that right, Earth? Yes! Everybody lived in the water before I was. Like this! Wow! Where are we exactly? Hey there! Anybody here? Oh. Welcome, Welcome to, to planet Earth! Earth! As it was a very long time ago. We, we are bacteria! Hello, my name's Little Malabar. Are you not feeling well? It's difficult for us to breathe uh, because we're used to living in the water, but we shall manage. Phew, that's better. better. Little by little, our children and our children's children will learn how to breathe air when there's less water. We did it! <laughs> we had to transform over thousands of years for us to be able to breathe in the open air. Well done! We'll be able to camp out together! And we won't be alone either. Look! The ocean Look. is rising! <laughs> you see, I've moved a great deal during all of these years. Crab, wait for me! Wow, there are lots of you down here. <laughs> you two are very amusing. Do you want to camp out with me? They are the Kayas. Uh, the ancestors of fish, and I am a primitive seaweed. <gasps> oh no, the tide is receding again. Oh dear, all our friends are gone now. <sighs> it's difficult for us to breathe. <sighs> But we'll manage. <laughs> of course. Be brave, my friend, and just enjoy the sun. <sighs> You're exactly right. <sighs> little by little, our children and the children of our children will learn how to get help from the sun to live in the open air. Wow! Well done, plants. Welcome to dry land. <laughs> At that time, there were many kinds of fish, and some of them used their fins to crawl about when the water was shallow. Oh, great! Lots of new friends to camp out with. Oh, don't leave. That's normal. They cannot yet breathe very well out of water. But the children of the children of these fish will slowly transform. This is Ichthyostega. Ah, oh, four-legged fish. One of the first fish capable of breathing in the open air and walking on dry land. Do you want to visit my tent as well? Welcome. As time went by, the children of the children of the Ichthyostega slowly transformed as well. And henceforth, they lived out of water on land. Welcome to my camp, my friends! <laughs> a very long time ago, living beings only lived in the ocean. In places where the water receded, the plants and animals little by little adapted to life on dry land in the open air. The seashell on the mountain. Huh? Whoa! Hey, little mole, are you building a sandcastle too? Check out mine! Oh. Huh? Where'd you go? <laughs> you made a tower in the middle? Great job, little mole. Let's go find some pretty shells to decorate it. Mm, kind of broken and too small. This little shell is too pointy. What do you think, mole? Hey, where did you go this time? Ah, there you are. But, mole, don't you know we find seashells on the beach and not on top of a mountain? A shell that became a rock? It's very pretty, but how did a seashell get all the way up here on top of this mountain? You know what, little Malabar? That shell's called a fossil. You should ask Earth to tell you about her past. Great idea, son. A 
Okay, let's go, little Mo. <laughs> Hello there, Earth. Do you know the story about a shell that became a rock? Oh, yes, of course, little Malabar. It all began a long time ago. Way back, this is what I looked like. With other oceans and other islands. Oh, and the islands are moving. <laughs> yes, it is Earth that is making us move. It's because of the energy I have inside me. And so I heat up and I push. And that makes my islands move. You're right, little mole. But what does this have to do with our seashell? Way back then, your seashell was at the very bottom of the ocean. You should go see for yourself. Okay, come on, Mo. Let's go take a look. Super Sea Dog! Wow, I've never seen an animal like that one. Look, I found our seashell, and there are lots of others here. There are the shells of those funny snails. <coughs> Yippee, we're going fast! Hey, stop! What's happening now? <coughs> After I pushed, the two islands bumped into each other. It's like an elevator. <laughs> Up higher, even higher. Keep going. Wow, look at that, Mo. Now there's only one big island. Oh, hey, do you recognize it? That's our island. That's right. That's how your island was born. Two islands bumped into each other and then they created the mountain. Great job, little Mo. That's the prettiest little seashell for your sand castle. <laughs> Look at that! It's magnificent! Now you are the queen of fossilized seashells! <laughs> Plates move under the Earth's surface. They bump into each other, and they rise up from under the oceans. They form mountains, and sometimes we find fossilized seashells on top of them. 